I've always known what I wanted to do. There's never any doubt. As a kid, uh, I spent a lot of my little tiny short kid time growing up in the Mojave Desert. So I just would wander around out in the desert and come home with pockets full of critters, you know, snakes and lizards and toads. And some of them I got to keep for a week or so and look at them and play with them, and then I had to turn them loose. It's always been pretty much a natural talent. I, I have. Uh, studied anatomy and, and different techniques to do sculptures, but as far as uh, any formal training, no. Um, I flunked art in high school. Perfect day in my world is one where I am off in the wilderness wandering around and camping at night and just, I love going by myself. I go and sit and alone and hike all day and listen to the night sounds and play my didgeridoo and watch the, watch the sun go down, watch the sun come up, and the solitude. And just, that's a perfect day. The process or the inspiration for a piece usually, it just falls in my head. I know it sounds nutty, but I just, gaze vacantly into space or I go take a nap and I wait for the pictures to come. I see it behind my eyeballs. The piece is already done as soon as I see it. Sometimes it evolves and changes as I go, but uh, mostly it just is uh, just a vision that happens in my head. I'd like to think that when people look at the, the sculptures that they have an appreciation for nature and animals and they could maybe identify with the animals or see how beautiful they are. It's a way to at least have a little piece of it in your house that you can look at and remind you that, uh, that there's still beauty in the world. If I'm lucky, hopefully somebody will still like them and say, wow, this is a person who really appreciated nature, who really cared about uh, wilderness and animals and things like that. And hopefully there will still be those places left. I'm Kitty Cantrell and I'm a wildlife sculptor. Is my head on straight? Grrr. Ah.